You have some pretty significant family ties to Hungary. How were you able to connect this to your professional work and your project for Fulbright? Okay, so my father left Hungary in 1956, and his uh, his his ties to Hungary have never left him. And so, as a child, we returned and returned and returned to Hungary multiple times. So I spent many summers in Caste, where my grandparents had their house, and. Uh, I decided when I was 20 to learn Hungarian, so I, I really pushed myself to be able to speak to my grandparents before they died, and I was able to. And then I became a journalist and a visual artist and all this stuff, and at the same time I've always been extremely interested in um, my father's story. He had a dramatic life, he was a farmer boy, and he lived through World War II, and then communism came, and because he was a wealthy farmer, he ended up um, becoming um, uh, punished under the uh, authoritarian regime of, of communism, and was tortured as a 17-year-old. And when I was even 17 and 18, I imagined myself being tortured, and, and it was just amazing that my father lived through this experience. So. Years and years and years later, here I am coming back to Hungary for the Fulbright and I am taking my father's entire story and blowing it up and making it connected to all of Hungary and making it relevant to so many people both outside of Hungary and in Hungary and really making history accessible. And and I hope, hope, hope that it's a valuable project beyond my family, beyond my profession, but that it affects school children and that it affects the way people think about Hungary and that it tells the story of everyday people instead of the great people who are um, usually the subjects of films and documentaries and, and, uh, and so that's why I'm here. Okay, and how will people around the planet be able to to read your story and to, and, to, and to take part in the work that you've done. My website is going to be a public document and it's going to be accessible to everybody in the world and it's also going to celebrate the archives that are uh, amazing, the photo archives in Budapest and it's, it's a, going to be a tool for other historians and other artists and all these people to say, okay, this is one story, let's see what my story is, let's see what your story is, let's see if we can learn how to use photographs to tell so many different stories because the archives are so rich and it's so important that they are there.